Welcome to Shark Cap Table Pro, where you keep a bigger bite of equity. This is what you would see when you use the third tab, SCT Pro. Now, I'm going to suggest that we do something here that will give us more space. I want to go up here. I want to click off the formula bar and the headings. And I want to come up to this little guy up here, but you can't see him, and auto hide the ribbon. Now we have more space to discuss. Along the top, you'll see two rows of buttons. The top set are all about printing financials. The bottom set is about navigating between the various sections that we have. So, for example, here's about. Now you can read whatever you want to. Now we're going to come up to the tutor which is what we're going to talk about next, dilution and pricing tutorial. Please, please, please don't do non-diluted interests ever. It messes up calculators. Investors feel like second-class citizens. It's really a bad idea. So now let's come in here and hit the zero button to clean the whole tool. First thing we're going to do is we're going to raise $20,000 from the founders. They don't use pre-money value. Instead, they use the actual share price. At $0.05 cents a share, that gives them 400,000 shares. Cumulative shares, of course, are 400,000. And the period additions, well, that's all the shares there are. Let's go and um, talk a little bit about what we're trying to do here. I want to show you the cost of money in terms of dilution. Now, we have a red button over here, right here, that um, sets the exit price. And I'm going to keep the exit price constant through the three rounds of financing. In reality, this price in this round would be a very small price because not much value has been established. And this might be a little bit bigger, but the real sale comes out here for $2 million. Okay, so let's go in and do round two. Let's raise $200,000. And let's assume that our pre-money value is um, $500,000. That creates $1.25 per share. That's up substantially from what the founders paid. This is 160,000 shares by virtue of taking the 200,000 divided by $1.25 gives you 160,000 shares. When you add the prior shares to the current shares, you now have a cumulative of 560,000. And there is a 28% uh, dilution um, by virtue of the round one. Dilution, by the way, is simply reduction in ownership by virtue of more people sharing the proverbial pie. You do have to give up something to get something. People aren't going to give you money for free. So they're going to expect a piece of the pie, and that's only normal. Okay. So in this case... Um, the $2 million sale, with the, with the founder owning 71%, uh, he keeps $1.4 million of it, and uh, the investor gets $571,000. Um, but that actually cost him $571,000. This, subtracting from this, is this. Okay, now let's look at what happens with round two. I set this up here, and let's go raise... $800,000 pre-money value. Let's make that, make it $1.2 million. Now you have a share price of $2.14 compared to $125. Um, again, if you take the $800,000 divided by $214, you're going to get uh, 373,333 shares issued. And the cumulative shares, of course, are these three numbers added together, which is 933. This number of shares here is represented as a 40% addition to the shares outstanding. Now let's come down here a little bit and see what has actually happened. The cumulative raise, of course, is the sum of those number uh, is this number right here, which is the sum of all of these numbers up here. All right, so now here's the two, same two million sale. Now the Founder now has dropped from 100 down to 71, all the way down to 43 in the third round, or the second round. And now he only gets $857,000, 143. 
And the second guy went from 29 to 17. Now he gets only 342. And the guy that comes in with the most amount of money gets a big chunk, or 40%. He gets 800,000. You add these three together, it's 2 million. And um, the difference between this and this is 1.1 million. So the investor the investors have essentially cost the founder $1.1 million. That's what I'm trying to show you here. You have to be very careful about dilution. There's the other issue, and that is look at what happens to the founder control. Here he owns 100%. He's undisputed king. Right here there's 71%. He still owns, has voting control. Now over here he's got 43. Now if he can collude with uh, round one, he still has 60%, but that might not happen. So there it is, folks. Thank you.